Hello, 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 everybody. This is Nikki. I want to first thank you all for joining me for my new subscribers. Thank you for my regulars who have been with me from the very beginning. I started this journey back in June, I believe. I posted my first YouTube video June the twin June the second of last year, you all, and here I am. Here we are today, eleven thousand strong. Okay, and I, I really. I'm so thankful and, and I'm speechless with, with this journey that you all have uh, decided to join with me. And, and it's been amazing. I've met a few friends. I've met clients. I have repeat clients. I mean, it's, it's just amazing. You know, uh, I've, got, I've gotten people who have, have donated monetarily to the channel and it helps me expand my cards and, and my vision for the channel is, is, is helping me grow. I got a few items in the mail the other day from Miss M. Miss M, thank you so much. She uh, went shopping in my um, my Amazon wish list, and I just love her for it. Thank you so much. I have the shape shifter here, the crow deck, which really calls out to me, and I have the star seed oracle. And I want to thank you, Miss M. And also, she got me some. Uh, you all see my my uh, Himalayan salt lamp. She got me some Himalayan salt. Um, candle holders uh, but I don't I don't have any tea lights I'm going to get some of those and start uh, using those also and, and uh, for, for Jennifer everybody who has 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 donated to my channel all of you who have um, paid for readings from me I, I just I just can't thank you all enough I have Cleotilde Simone Jessica I have Yadara Lakeisha I have Jewel, Lolita, Yvette, Leah, Leah, Leah. I have Glam, by Queen, Kim, Asia, Deidre, everybody, everybody who I've named and have not named. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel and for and for purchasing my readings and for allowing me to tap into your amazing amazing energies. You all, I just can't thank you all enough. And and I'm still going on with with my reading, my ten dollar twenty minute freestyle reading. So if you're interested in that. That's still going to be available until the end of this month at midnight. Uh, so I have a message too. If you all purchase a reading from me, you make that payment on PayPal, please remember to email me and let me know that you made that payment. For one, that's letting me verify your email. I would hate to get your reading done and then all of a sudden I get bounced back that the email was, was invalid, or which I've gotten twice. I, I would hate to have to refund your money, but so if you... Like I said, if you pay for a reading through PayPal, please remember to email me, okay? My email information is listed below in the video, and that way we all can know that we're on the same page, okay? I do have a message for Jewel. Jewel, you paid for a reading from me, but I'm not going to do your reading until you verify your email. I haven't. I sent you out an email a couple of days ago. I haven't gotten a verification back, okay? So email me, okay, to let me know that that's, that's the correct email so I can go ahead and get your reading done, okay? So we're going to get started. Again, once I want want to thank everybody for their contributions to my channel. And Miss M, thank you so much for, for the gifts that you've purchased for me through my uh, my Amazon wish list. Okay? All right, thank you. So we're going to get started here. Give me some energy for the collective. This is timeless. What messages do I have for the collective here when it's timeless reading? The Knight of Wands. And we have the chariot, you all. You're moving forward to something, okay? The knight of swords. And, and it's like whatever you're moving to, you aren't letting anything or anybody stand in your way, okay? We have the nine of swords. And it's, it's bothering you, though. Are you worried that you can't get, get to your destination because you're... Some, you're going to have some kind of hindrance that's blocking you. Okay, we got the Knight of Pentacles. But you're going to come out of it here. And it's like the Knight of Wands, you're headed somewhere. Wherever it is, you're going, you're going to get positivity moving forward with the Chariot card. And you're going to be, it's like somebody's going to help you get there. Somebody's going to help you reach your destination. You're going to be guided by spirits, by, 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 by your ancestors, by your friends and family members. A little bit of everybody is energetically helping you get to that point, but you're going to get stuck at some point. You're going to have a little worry because you figure that once you get there or in the process that something's going to happen. Always, it's like a, a hitching in your giddy up. There's something always got to go wrong when you start moving forward. But then you're going to 
bypassed it and we got this Knight of Pentacles energy, okay? And that's going to kill off any of the negativity that you may think about your situation or yourself, okay? You got to kill that that nervousness and kill that negativity and that, that thing that, that thinks that once you get started that something's going to happen, it, like it's too good to be true. You got to get out of that mindset, okay? Message is here for the collective. Got the seven of wands got the moon card you really don't know okay but you need to come out of this conflict here we got the ace of wands and we got the you you you're, you're really really causing yourself undue heartache with this situation because we got a, a six we got the six of cups here what are you doing that, that's trying to keep you stuck with this worrying at night because you feel you're going to fail with this three of swords Okay, but you got to understand you may not know what's going on, but the universe does. You got to put yourself out there. Don't be so afraid to make a move. You're blocking yourself in for nothing. You got to get started because you it's 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 like you can go above and beyond even a while and even your wildest imaginations. What is it in your life that you want to do? But something is hindering you. Fear is keeping you stuck. You're worried. You think that you're going to fail. You haven't even started yet. Are you just beginning? You can't you can't put that thought in your head that you're going to fail because you have some good stuff to offer and you got to kill off that nervousness or kill off that that insanity inside your head telling you that you can't do this. Yes, you can. You can do it. You can do it. You got the eight. You work cuz you're a hard a hard worker. You think hard and you're a great manifester. But you got to make a decision. What do you want to do? You want to stay stuck or you going to move? You work hard. It's like you're working hard right now thinking about it, what you're going to do, how you're going to move forward, how you're going to thrive in your life. But you're holding yourself back. And why? Because the universe is telling you, look, you may not know what's going on, but I'm keeping my eye on you because I know that you can do this with the Ace of Pentacles. I know that I know what I know. I, I know good, good quality when I see it because I made it. You know what I'm saying? God said, I know what I was doing. When I made you. I, I don't make no mistakes. Somebody told me a long time ago, God don't do nothing out of order. And you are well within your rights to succeed. Hmm. Did you hear that? You are well within your rights to succeed. You better get it together because you got something good coming for you. Look. <laughs> Almost got me in tears here. And then we got celebration with this three of cups. You're going to get some kind of successful offer to you. And you're going to party. You're going to celebrate. You're going to pull your cup of wine. And damn, I'm good. Yes, you are. And you're going to celebrate with family and friends. But you're going to celebrate with the very people who helped you get you to where you are. And these are people who probably don't have a pot to piss in and a one to throw it out of. But they believe in you. Okay? I got a, um, a donation from a client last night, you all. She's not working right now. She was laid off because of COVID. She watches the reading. She's she's a part of our of our collective. Um, I talked to her last night to about two o'clock in the morning, and you know she sent me over a, a donation and, and told me to get your hair done, get your nails done, pamper yourself. You know, don't put it on any bills or anything like that. You know, the only thing that's keeping my my channel afloat right now, you all, are you all helping me benefiting my channel and everything like that you know and i just i just am so thankful that, that i have you all here uh on this journey with me because you know <laughs> you know it, it's just i'm not used to uh i'm, I'm not used to accepting help but the, i guess that's the virgo in me you know so but any you know i i just i just don't know what to say it makes me so speechless when someone gives to me and doesn't expect anything in return and, and that's i'm just so appreciative of that and i think to myself i was thinking to myself last night like man i've done a lot of stuff for people i go oh, oh above and beyond for people i don't care if it's in relationships family members work situations but i'm always the one that ends up losing out on something and when when something good happens, it's almost hard for me to accept it. But I know that, that, that that's that energy coming from God. That karma. Okay? All right. Sorry, y'all. I just had to say that. Give me some energy here for the collective. I have the world card. The strength card. Okay? Because you've been strong and because you've worked so very hard. Look. Because you worked so very hard. You're about to get your blessings. Your blessings are flowing to you. 
in a nonchalant kind of way, in unexpected ways. You're getting your blessings. Fast. Shit is going to start happening for you concurrently. Boom, 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 boom. You better get ready. You better get ready. Look, where are you going with this Eight of Cups? Because things are changing for you. But lovers, getting a lot of blessings. <clears throat> two of Cups. You got two people for you. You got the Ace of Wands. You better make your mind up. You got two people. We got the lovers and we got the Two of Cups. You're headed toward not only different areas in your life are going to start improving for you too because you've manifested some great stuff but in in the process of you manifesting you manifesting some stuff okay you manifested love and that's exactly where you're headed here love but you got to make a decision a choice between the past and a choice between the future because if you don't boom got to make a decision very very um intense decision for you because you got somebody coming back who um, was pretty good in the bedroom. I've been saying that in a few of my read, my collectives, and you have to decide, you know, because you stay with this person probably a long, longer than you should have because the intimacy was so good, but this person was toxic, so you got to decide, is it pleasure or pain? <laughs> Michael Bowden has his song, Pleasure or Pain. Is it pleasure or pain? Hmm. But you know what? With you, you may be going through some shit right now. Things are happening for you, but everything's going to be just fine. Everything's going to be just fine. Because because God is in your corner. Give me some more energy here for the collective. You got somebody coming back very, very, uh, who the sex was, like was, was on point. You know, like I said. But... You have to decide. You you man, it, literally you manifested this. You manifested technically getting back with your ex or hoping that your ex will come back. But in the process of you manifesting love, you manifested new love and old love. And this is what you're gonna get inside your mind: Con conflict. Because one, once that once you meet that new person, or around the time your old person comes back, that's when shit gonna happen. They're gonna both show up practically at the same time for you. The empress or the emperor, they're coming back for you. And But you got to realize, <laughs> you manifested this, okay? And one of them, it's like the situation is going to happen in, when you least expect it. Like I said, coming very, very fast. Very fast. But you've you grown. You, you've really, really been stronger. And you see that, that you see for yourself that things for you are about to change because they are, okay? Four of swords, you, you've, 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 you've taking a break you've taken a rest now it's time for you to get up and get to moving to find your happy place in this world okay and you're coming out of it with this eight of swords you know you it's like once you find your happiness once you it's like you waking up from hibernation okay and you walk out the door let me go outside open the door and the sun is shining as bright as it's ever shown that's you coming out of hibernation because you finally saw the sunlight okay Finally saw the sunlight. We have the five of swords here, some some energy here around you too. That's not so nice, but you gotta make up your mind with this ex when they come back. I see you walking away from it because it's not going to benefit you, okay? Because we have your emperor. Your emperor is coming for you, okay? Um, getting back with this ex is only going to cause you pain and heartache, okay? Because right now. This is the mindset you're in. Everything is fine. But if you take your ass and go back to that ex, that's what you're going to get. That's the hell, That's what the hell you're going to get. Hurt. Backstabbed. And a toxic ass energy force that, that's going to be hard for you to break. Why get caught up in a situation that you already left? If it didn't work out the first time, it's not going to work out this time. Like I say in some of my readings, if it walks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, nine times out of ten, it's a motherfucking duck. Okay? All right, y'all. <clears throat> what else do I have to tell y'all today? I'm going to pull a few of my shapeshifter cards here. Again, courtesy of Miss M, which I appreciate. You. Spirits, please give me some shapeshifter cards for the collective. 
on their journey. Messages for the collective here on their journey. <clears throat> the delicate fairy and her ferrets. Change is natural, good, and yes, it can hurt. The dragon, draggling garden. A new world is born. Things are changing for you. Okay. So we have here the delicate fairy and her ferrets. Change is natural, good, and yes, it can hurt. So, yeah, you need to move on. Uh, change is good. Your Things are changing in the universe for a lot of people, it's, and you too, especially you. So I'm hitting my head. Especially you, if you're getting this message and you're receiving it, okay? This is a necessary change. There was something that took place in your life over the past year or so that kind of caused a tower moment, a dark night of the soul, something that really, really hurt you. And that was just the universe saying, stop. Now, I've, I've warned you, I've spoken to you about it, you weren't listening to your intuition, so I took care of it my damn self, okay? Change is good, and yes, it can hurt. You didn't do it, so the universe did it for you, okay? And we have the draggling garden, a new, a new world is born. Out of hurt comes a new world for you, a necessary change for you. Beauty and the Beast, you need some space in a relationship. That's why it ended. Because maybe you ended it, maybe not. Maybe the universe did it for you. But you needed that break to move on from that person who was no longer, who was, who was a, being a beast to you. Not good for you, okay? You needed that break. And I have here Fiona and the Unicorn, a gift of the gift of sacred light. Like I said earlier, the gift of sacred light. <clears throat> you know why this makes sense to me? The gift of sacred light. Remember I said earlier, it's like when you're waking up, it seems like you're waking up out of, out of out of hibernation and you open the front door and the, sh the sun is shining as brighter than it's ever shown for you. <clears throat> That's the gift of sacred life for you. This is confirmation for you if you're if you're resonating with this reading. Okay. All right. I'm going to pull a couple more, y'all. I'm going to pull you all a spirit animal. Okay. And then I'm going to end it because I, I got to work on the, the personals today. All right, spirit guys, give me a spirit animal for the collective. Please, please, please seek and find the the, 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 the highest energy forces going on right now for this reading, okay? Spirit animal for the collective. Spirit animal for the collective. Here. I have the hero, which is patience. Create a place in nature, stillness, and be renewed. Take time alone and find balance. Step confidently toward your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. Patience will bring you, not only will patience bring you rewards, collective, the universe, it will also bring you the gift of sacred light. The gift of sacred light. Okay? I want to thank you all for once again joining me. Now, Jewel, if you're listening to this or you watching this reading, please remember to confirm your email with me. I can't. Get your reading done until the confirmation is done. For all of you others who are waiting on readings, hopefully I'll have them done, the majority of them done sometime today. If not, then you'll get them by the end of the week because I'm, I'm toggling between home here and 24-hour shifts at my mother's. So I'm back and forth. So just be patient with me, but I am working on your readings, okay? You all have been amazing. Thank you for your support, and I will talk to you all again soon.